So what do you need? Yeah, it is in your formula booklet. So what do you need to do is apply all the identities and try to get everything either in terms of sign or in terms of cost. So what would be better? Okay, you want in terms of cost. Yeah, so so it's fine. Now, so your cost two x, so two cos square x minus one. That's my cost two x. Minus three cos x. Minus three minus cos square x. Sine square x is one minus cos square x. You know, I'm using the identities that sine square x plus cos square x is one. So your sine square x will be one by. Correct? 1 minus cos square. So sine square x is 1 minus cos square x and this cos 2x I have applied the formula. You know if you get confused you can also substitute. Let cos x be equal to y. So this will become 2y square minus 1 minus 3y minus 3 minus y square is equal to 1 minus y square. Get all terms on one side. So minus y square minus y square can cancel out. Correct? So this will be 2y square minus 3y minus, minus 4 minus 1. Correct? Minus 4 and this minus 1. Again. So 2y square minus 3y minus 5. Factorize it. So product would be how much? 10. So same factors. Correct? 5 2s are only. If you do product in sum, it will 5 2s are because the difference you want. 2y remove from it. y plus 1. 5 y plus 1. So y plus 1 you remove from it. So then what does it mean? y is equal to minus 1. Or y is equal to 5 of 4 2. Now re sum. Cos x is equal to minus 1. Or cos x is equal to 5 of 2. So this is no solution. Maximum of yeah. value of cos is minus 1. Now cos x is minus 1. So you think of the unit circle. 1 0. This is minus 1 0 is here. Correct? So pi. So x is equal to pi. That's it.